well, he's often said that I, I helped influence him that way. And uh, I, I, I really am humbled by that. And I'm, I take pride in that, 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 uh, um, that he saw how, A, it's an interesting profession, but it's also very rewarding and that, that uh, you know, you're helping people reach their goals. It's his time. Let's go. You know, go at it. He can, he can handle it. Chuck Kyle, the legendary St. Ignatius coach. Man, anytime he's talking, I'm listening. Here's Jonathan Gannon and the Cardinals. They did their walkthrough at Ignatius yesterday. Of course, Gannon went there. And this, I'll tell you what, this is kind of a neat story. We haven't talked about it much. But this is a Cleveland guy who is impressing people in the league. It's the Ignatius connection, obviously, a strong football legacy there. It's a neat story here. I think it is. Um, yes. It's a lot of good football that came, football being played, coached, of the people that came out of Cleveland. Fun fact, I got to Kent State via St. Ignatius. Really? Coach, scouts, everything were there to see St. Ignatius. I was a quarterback in Dunbar in Washington, D.C. We kind of was laying it on them. Who is this kid from Washington, D.C.? There goes my opportunity to go to Kent State University. Fast forward, I live right around the corner from where we played. I played that game. Literally, pass by it all the time at Byers Field. Yeah. So that's yeah. that connection. You know, Cleveland football, you, that's the good thing right there. When you can see guys come up from the ground and make it to where they are now. And it's a really good thing because he's showing that he still cares about Ignatius. Exactly. And, and how they brought him up because not, not many teams go to their high school. And, right. And have walkthroughs and just show up. And so he's, he's giving a shout out but to his NFL school. NFL team. Let, right. Yeah. Let him know. I, I can, appreciate you. I can imagine what that would mean to the St. Ignatius football program. Now, they're not playing this week. They lost. They gave Menor a heck of a, or McKinley, rather, uh, a heck of a fight on Friday night. They bowed out. But how cool is that for those players? They're still around, probably clean out locker room. To see, they could, they could hear from Gannon. They could talk to him. I'm sure there was a moment there he could say some things. That's impressive for those high school kids. Confirmation right. that I'm at the right place. Like there confirmation you know. that things can happen from this from this right. school. Things can happen in this sport more than me becoming an a NFL football player. I can be an NFL coach. I tell that to kids all the time. Hey, football is a billion dollar industry. Whether you are commentating, whether you're on the radio, it is so much to be made uh, from this yep. as a career. Scout, what happened? That just lets them know. Scout, yep. I can do this, and it doesn't yes. like you said. It doesn't have to be a football player, but look, look at John Gannon. He's he's a head coach. He came back here. We're, we're just hands on right. We're right there, right, right there. there.